Hello everyone, it's Not a Doom Pat. Today we're going to review the Hunter's shareable perk, Territorial Imperative. Territorial Imperative shows the aura of a survivor entering the basement for 3 seconds so long as the killer is 32 meters away from the basement's entrance. It has a cooldown timer of 20 seconds at tier 3. The pros to this perks are that it is generally pretty easy to down a survivor and hook them in the basement if you catch them down there. Then, it's also helpful to chain hooks together as well. Someone's going to have to go down in the basement to rescue a survivor when they're hooked down there, so as long as you're 32 meters away, you're going to know when they enter the basement to unhook them, and you can run back and get one of them. Then, obviously it's fairly simple to use as you're going to see in the video. The cons are it's weak activation. There's a very light noise when the perk is activated, it's hardly noticeable, I'll show you that later on. However, I mostly end up relying on the cooldown timer to tell me when the perk is activated. Furthermore, it's hard to see the aura most of the time in the 3 second period if you don't know where the basement is. So if a survivor runs in the basement to begin the game, sometimes you're going to struggle to even find the basement and the survivor within the 3 second period. Furthermore, you have to be 32 meters away, which makes this already limited perk even more limited. Let's get into the demonstration. Here you can see what the aura looks like when a survivor enters the basement. I will display the sound effect later on. Take note that the main way to tell if the perk is activated is the cooldown timer in the corner below. Now, let's take a really quick listen and hear what the perk activation sounds like. As I said, that's quite a weak activation noise. I'd like to see something more. Anyways, I know someone has entered the basement. I go and finish my hook on Steve, and then I'm going to sprint over to the basement since I see the perk has been activated. Now, I mostly assume that survivors go in the basement to heal discreetly or to go for the chest, so they're generally down there for a bit so you most of the time get to make it over there before they leave. Fortunately, I'm able to hit Jane down before she finishes her heal, and then I get the basement hook. Again, this is how I demonstrate how it may lead to a chain effect. Yui is going to have to activate the perk by going down in the basement to rescue the hook survivor. I'm going to hit her as soon as she comes up, as you can see. Now, we're going to go on a short chase, and I'm able to hook her. Then I'm able to hear Jane healing around the corner, and I get another hook again. So I've successfully chained three hooks together from the perk activating from the first time. Overall, even if that was a good example, this perk is not that great. I don't really recommend it. It is entirely possible that survivors don't enter the basement the entire game, or if they do, you could be within 32 meters so it doesn't matter and you'll never know. Then, the weak activation is tough. You only get to see the aura for 3 seconds which sometimes isn't even long enough to find out where the basement is. Then, the sound is also pretty weak. So in the end, I'm going to give this perk a 2 out of 10. Even a minor improvement like removing the 32 meter restriction would even boost it up a little bit, but I still don't think it would be that viable. This perk just isn't that good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. Then, if you want to check out other perk reviews, make sure to visit my channel and subscribe, and check out some of the other content. Take it easy, see you next time.